Okay, this is an inequalities question, so normally the part B of a question. And this is June 2010. It says solve 10x squared minus x minus 3 as greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is if you get one like this with a quadratic, you need to factorise it. So using our what do we add to make, what do we times to make? So we add to make minus 1, and we times to make 10 times minus 3 is minus 30. Okay, so we're going to use 6 and 5 to make 30. So then we're going to have minus 6 and plus 5 to make minus 1. Okay, factorising then, we get 10x squared minus 6x plus 5x minus 3. Okay, factorise that into two brackets, take out the 2x. Right. Open the brackets, we're going to get 5x minus 3 plus, take out the 1, don't forget the 1, 5x minus 3 again. Both brackets match. So our final answer is 2x plus 1 and 5x minus 3. Okay, so that's the first step that you need to do there. Then we need to get out our two values of x. So we got from this bracket, x is minus a half. And from this bracket, x is 3 over 5. Moving 3 over, dividing by 5. Okay. So we've got our two values of x. Now we need to have a go at sketching that onto a graph to find out what the inequality is. So quick sketch of a graph. Okay. Q quadratic, and it's a positive, so it's going to be basic shape like that. We've got x is minus a half, which I can put on there. And we've got x is three fifths, which go there. Okay. Now we know that it is greater than or equal to zero. Okay. So we know... It's greater than or equal to zero, so it's going to be above the x-axis. Okay, so it's going to be in this part, it's going to be above. Now we need to work out which part, is it this part, or is it outside that satisfies the equation? Okay, so which one satisfies this equation? So I'm going to choose a value, so if I choose, say, what's the easiest one? I'm going to look above, and I'm going to choose x as being zero, it's probably the easiest one there. Okay, so I'm going to look at, I'm going to try x equals 0. So I'm going to put x is 0 into this one up here. So I get 10 times 0 squared minus 0 minus 3. And that should be greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so I'm going to end up with 0 minus 0 minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, now I know that, that is not correct. That doesn't work. Okay, so this inside area is not the correct part. So the correct part will be this outside area there. Okay, so what you need to do to finish that one off there is you can't just leave it shady to write the inequality. So separate sections like these. So separate sections means separate inequalities. So our final answer is x is got to be bigger than 3 fifths, so greater than or equal to 3 fifths, because that's the sign that we used up here. Or, important word there, you must put the or in, x is less than or equal to minus a half. Okay, and if you just want to check this area, you could try another one. You could try, for example, x is 1, which give us 10. Take away 1 is 9. Take away 6. Take away 3 is 6, which is greater than 0, so we know that that works there. So our final answers are these two years. x is greater than or equal to 5. x is less than or equal to minus a half.